Hello everyone, so here we have a super interesting application problem regarding functions. So for this problem we have to express the area of a rectangle as a function of the length x if the length of the rectangle is twice its width. So how do we, how do we uh, dissect this problem and get our solution? Well, we have to dissect the problem. And let's do that right now. So it says express the area of the rectangle. So what, what do we know about the rectangle? We know that the rectangle is, we have a, let's call this x, which is the, we can call this the length, because it says of the length x, okay? So we're calling x as the length, and then we also want the width. So w can just be the width. So what do we know about the area of a tri I mean, rectangle? We know that it's uh, x times w, or length times width. So we want to express this thing as a function, but here is the tricky part. The tricky part is that the, uh, the, the length is twice, it's, it's, it's twice the size of its width. So how do we express that? Let's think about it. If um, okay, so okay, so it's saying that the length, okay, so if the length is let's say it's one, then actually let's say that let's say if the length is two, then what will be the width? It will just be one because the the length is twice as width. It's width, so it's twice of that. Let's do another one. So if x is 4, then what will be its width? It will be 2. So let's do another one. If it's 6, then what will be the width? It will be 3 because it's always twice the its width. So what do we see? We see a pattern going on here, okay? So it's actually, you know, uh, the width, the length is actually just 2 w. And that's the length. That's the new length which we used to call it just the x because 2 times 2 is 4, right? And 2 times 3 is 6. So let's do another one. Let's say the uh, the the length is 12. Then what will be its width? It will be 6 because 6 times 2 is 2 and that satisfies our statement here. <coughs> so let's do this. Okay, so let's uh, express this in in terms of uh, uh, area. Express this as an area of some type of thing, some type of variable. So we now we have everything in in terms of w, right? Because now x is just two w, and the width is still w. Now everything is in terms of w. Now everything should be easier. So we want to express this as a function. So remember a function takes an input and it spits out an output. So why don't we pick one of a one of our scenarios. Let's pick this. It'll be easier. Let's pick this one, okay? We're going to do this one first. So if so the output of this area will be what? 4 times 2 it's 4, so the output of this should be 8. So we have to somehow come up with an equation that will give us 8. But everything only in terms of w. So it's saying that when we put in 2, or when we put in 2, we have to get 8. How do we do that? Well, you know, a fun way to do this is just to play around with it. So let's say we have, we put w, then we get 2. Is that 8? No. What if we put 2w? Hmm. Then it'll be 4. Is that 8? No. It's not. Why don't we do w squared? Then it'll be 4 again. No, it's not 8. But if we do 4 times 2, is that 8? I think we do have 8. So it'll be 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, well, this worked. This equation certainly worked. So let's write this down. Uh, let's write this down on the side. So let's keep in mind that this worked, or as a reminder that this worked, okay? 
let's do something else. Let's try the next one where the length is 6 and then the width is 3. Okay, let's see if that will work. So if that's the case, then area will be 18, right? So if let's go up there, the width is 3, so we plug in 3, and we're going to put it into this formula. So it'll be 3 times 2, so it'll be, oh, this worked. It worked again. Hmm, interesting. So let's do another one, just to make sure that it works. Let's do the x is 12 and width is 6. So what does that give us? Uh, 12 times 6, we get what? Uh, we get 72, so the area should be 72. And what's the width? I think it's 6, right? So let's do that. So it'll be 36, and what's 36 times 2? Ah, so we found out one of our um, equations. <coughs> Okay, so I guess this worked, but for the next video, let's try to do something else. We're going to try to do the same exact thing, but we're going to, um, I guess, have a different type of solution. So if you want to know more about that, please uh, click on the next video. Thanks.